G'day YouTubers, Brian from Northeast Outdoors channel here. Uh, today I'd like to talk to you about a couple of um, new pieces of equipment that I've got. Um, the first being this collapsible wood stove and the second um, a titanium cup. Now both of these uh, items are from a mob called Lixada. I don't know where they come from. Um, obviously these things are made in China um, and I bought them off eBay. And I'll talk to you about each of them in turn. Okay, the first thing I want to talk to you about is the stove, Elixada collapsible wood stove. Um, this is the slide together version. They have other versions um, which are hinged. Also, uh, when you buy the stove, you get this little tray um, which fits in the, in the stove. Um, and I assume it is to put your liquid fuel burner on if you're going to use one of those. The stove itself is made of stainless steel um, and I did weigh it and it weighs it weighs in at a grand total of about 140 grams. You also get this little bag. The stove can be used with various fuel types. Um, you can use the sticks uh, which obviously you feed in through there. Um, if you watch this little video that I've got, I've actually poked them in through the top, but either will work. You can also use your uh, liquid burner, uh, such as the, the burner out of a Trangia. I'm pretty sure that Lixada actually makes one of these as well. Um, just, you really don't need to use this tray. You can just put your stove in, in the top there, uh, and light it through the hole in the front. The only um, issue I see um, by using this inside the stove down low like that in there is when it comes to put it out is getting your uh, your snuff out lid to go in without burning yourself. If you're quick I'm sure you could do it but you need to take a bit of care. So you can use wood liquid fuel. You can also use solid fuel tablets. Um, I don't know if you know like hexamine, um, they'll work in there just as well. Now in that little video uh, that I showed you before, um, you'll see that I used this small kettle um, and it sits over the small top of the stove quite well. The, st the stove top itself is only eight centimetres across, um, so it's not very big. This has got quite a wide base, so it sits on there nicely. I thought about using one of these uh, steel mugs, one of these um, army canteens over the top, but there's a bit of a balance issue. If you sort of push it towards the edge, um, then it'll be fine, but if you try and sit it in the middle, it's going to fall over. There's going to be no support. Put it on there diagonally and it fits fine. The little titanium cup fits on there quite well too. No issues with that. Alright, so that's the Lixada wood stove. Um, there are plenty of other YouTube videos that show uh, burn times, etc. like that. Obviously, um, I don't think that's a very good way to test it because different fuels have different heat volumes of water, etc. will, you know, change the burn time or the heat time, wh whichever you like to call it. Alright, so Lixada, uh, collapsible wood stove, um, $35 off eBay, but much cheaper now. Um, between $15 and $20, as I said. If I had uh, to buy another one, I would definitely go for a hinged version rather than the slide together version. What do I like about it? Well, it's cheap, it's light, and uh, it's easy to use. What I don't like about it is having to try and slide it together. And that's really about all I can say bad about it. If you've got any questions about the, uh, the stove, um, just ask them and, uh, in the comments below and I'll try and answer them for you.
Okay, the second thing I want to talk to you about is the titanium cup, also by Lixada. Um, this was uh, about, I can't remember now to be honest, about $25 maybe off eBay. Um, it comes with a lid and this uh, neat little bag um, to store it in. Now this is only a small one, this is 550 mil capacity, um, which is about two cups of water, two standard cups of water, um, but it says 550 mils on the cup itself, but it doesn't actually have any indication on the cup where 550 mils is. The bigger versions of this cup have uh, marks on them to indicate the quantity of water that's in the cup but the small one doesn't. I've measured out 500 ml of water. So that's like two standard cups of water. And that uh, fills the cup to about one centimetre from the top. What can you do with two standard cups? Well, this backcountry cuisine uh, cooked breakfast um, requires two cups of water to uh, reconstitute, uh, which is one of these mugs, basically. Um, or, if you eat two minute noodles, um, this takes 375 mils, which is about one and a half cups of water. So you can see that even the small cup, the 550 mil version, um, you can heat plenty of water to reconstitute your food or to make a mug of coffee or whatever it is that you want to do. Now, the cup is titanium. It is light. I think I weighed it, the lid. Um, the cup and the little bag and it came in at about 106 grams so if those things are important to you um, the stove and the cup are really quite good. What do I like about the cup? Compared to its um, stable mates um, it's cheap. You get the lid with it. I looked at a Snow Peak titanium cup, a small version, um, no lid. You had to buy the lid separately and it was like $25 which is ridiculous. If you've got any questions about these products, um, and I, I bought these myself by the way, no one gave them to me, and I'm not getting anything for uh, putting this on YouTube. Uh, but if you have any questions about these items, please put them in the comments below um, and I will answer them for you.